Welcome to the wonderful world of Python on Hardware. Yeah, Python on Hardware. This is a new year. Yep. And uh, we got a lot of good stuff going on and coming up. Yeah, so right now, if you go to our blog, we have a series of posts. And these are people that are sending things in for CircuitPython 2019. So if you want to give us feedback, let us know what's important to you. Uh, we're posting up all of those right now. You can look for the tag CircuitPython 2019 on our blog. And uh, Matt just sent in one, Pendant Software sent in one, Cedar Grove, um, Entol, uh, and we have the original blog post. So these are all things that um, we know that you might be interested in, and we also want to hear from you. So that's in, um, we put it in the newsletter, mm -hmm. it's on the blog, lots of places to see it, you can tag it. And of course, Pound Circuit Python yeah. 2019, people have been putting it up on GitHub. Wherever it takes, if you comment on the blog post, of course, we'll see it immediately, yeah. but just tag us somehow, let us know. Yep. Um, we are really excited to hear what the community has to take. It's all about code plus community. Yep. So, you know, we, there's code being written, but we also want to make sure that we have people who are part of the community who are contributing and feel like they can tell us what they think is important, and we do listen to it. Even if we don't get absolutely every wish done this year, um, it's all going to be on our list, and we'll get to it eventually. Uh, over the weekend, we had some e-ink stuff. This is um, person in a JSON file. This is the quotes on Adafruit, and uh, we did a little video, so past us can can tell you what. This yeah, is explain all about. it past me. Adafruit, what is this? Hey, working on some e-ink displays. We've had this little e-ink in the display in the store before, and I thought let's make some bigger ones. So here I'm actually doing a demo with a 2.13 inch display where I'm hooking it up to a Feather M4. And uh, this is the 2.13 inch tricolor ink display. It's got some graphics. And then it's getting quotes from the Adafruit quote service online using this ESP32 to connect to Wi Fi. So this is going to the Adafruit site, getting a quote, and then displaying it nicely on an ink display. So we've got a couple more inks coming out, and we've got CircuitPython support for them. All right. Here's some of the other ones. And so that live version is using um, JSON and it's mm -hmm. um, CircuitPython and it's displaying quotes right off of our site. Yeah, and you can see the nice tri-color. It's got some red and black in addition to the white background. And uh, we've got text and graphics working. Okay, cool stuff. Ink snakes its way into CircuitPython. Nothing looks better on ink than Maya Angelou quotes. Um, this is the testers for the Grand Central. Yeah, look at this massive tester. You need two clamps because it's just so big. Yeah, and this is our most powerful Python running board. It's a mega shaped and it's a at Sam D51. 70 pins. Um, it's in the store now. We actually sold up pretty fast, but we're making more. You know, this is um, a bit of a challenge for us to make. I mean, it's not that it's a big board, that the size doesn't matter, but that chip in the center is 128 pins and it's 0.4 millimeter pitch. So uh, it's definitely our mo most advanced uh, board that we've ever put together, but we got the first batch out and we're gonna be making more. Yeah. So if you want a lot of pins and a lot of power, check out this Grand Central. The Cortex M4 core, 120 megahertz, DSP and floating point, one megabyte flash, 256 kilobyte RAM, 32 bit, 3.3 3 uh, volts logic and 70 GPIO pins. This is a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. I can't, I can't cram any more in. Okay, it's a fast way to run circuit pipes on right now. Okay, uh, this is a coming soon. This is a GPIO expander bond. It'll be Circuit Python. Yeah, support. somebody emailed us and said, "Hey, could you make one?" And I was like, "That's a good idea. Why yep. not?" Just whipped it together. Some projects around the web. This is a Circuit Python powered campfire lamp. It's uh, a little cup with some uh, like tissue paper and just using Circuit Python, you can make a, a little accessory. It won't keep you warm. Well, I mean, it'll keep your heart warm because yeah. it's heart warming to make such a thing. But it's also safe. You don't have to worry about it catching fire. Um, some other news around the, the Python world. Uh, this is Edublox, and Edublox has a new Python editor feature, and this also works on mobile devices. So what you're seeing is Edublox on an iPad, and you put all the blocks, and once you decide that you're ready to run this, it runs it, it uses um, a service called Trinket, um, no connection to ours, um, our hardware, um, it just happens to be called Trinket, and uh, you can use circuit Python and our circuit playground boards with this. Yeah, so very this interesting. Yes, yeah, so this is coming soon. Also, other ways to run CircuitPython. This is, um, we uh, wrote about this, this is a Visual Studio um, that uh, Scott Hasselman 
Really? Yeah, oh, they got. Use Visual Studio and Circuit Python and uh, Neo Shells. Yeah, he got an Ada box, and I guess uh, he works on VS Code, and was like, you know, we use. I've used Atom, but some people want other editors, so he showed. Here's how you can use a different editor, and it, it looks like there's even a serial console built into it. So this is gonna be a really, um, a really nice way to write code. So check it out. If people like it, maybe we'll um, I'll switch over to VS Code. Okay. Um, next up, this is kind of neat thing. This is a uh, user interface to look at and control how you. Um, user Neo Trellis. So this was from, um, let me find it here. This is one from uh, Foamy Guy, and this mm -hmm. is a Neo Trellis M4 uh, Launchpad conf configurator. Yeah, I mean, it's super. What's really nice is because it's in CircuitPython, of course, you can generate a text file and just copy and paste it in. But, like, if you want to make a pretty advanced setup and you don't want to read through, you know, a Python dictionary, then yep. yeah, it's a nice accessory. Thank you so much for making that. This is LED light drawing using CircuitPython on Neo Trellis. We have Colorful. an updated guide in NRF52840 from Lady Ada. Yeah, we've updated it. I think we've added how to update. Uh, if you have a particle xenon or argon board, you want to get CircuitPython running on that, um, check out the guide. We have a little bit of a tutorial on how to do so. Mike Rella did a roundup of all the ways and things that have gone on with Python and Turtle. So uh, kind of a surprise to us. It was neat to see that Turtle is inside of Moo, um, our favorite editor, Code with Moo. And you can easily learn some fun graphic drawing things with Turtle, and we have a little bit of history on that. Uh, we also, first up, uh, we have, we're on Reddit. Um, Circuit Python community is already up to 100 people already. It's only been around there for a week, and that is just one of the many community resources that we have. Um, this is part of the Adafruit newsletter. This comes out every week, adafruitdaily.com, spam free. It's uh, one of the biggest resources for Python on hardware out there. And Python in general. And Python in general. We, we put a lot of stuff in there. And that's the Python on hardware news for the week. Exciting. Yeah, a lot happened. A lot. Tons.